It's now time for big issues where we discuss relevant topics making the news. Yesterday, the Ghana Statistical Service um, gave us some news on the inflation rate, which has apparently dropped to 23.1%. That's a 1.9% drop since we were last informed. Now, we have come to understand that when inflation drops, it means that prices of goods and services will increase at a slower rate than before. It also means that um, wages are better, and so you have more money in your pocket to be able to buy more goods, and your general cost of living reduces. So things are better for all of us, and we're more comfortable. And the question is, with this drop in inf inflation rate um, versus the reality on the ground, is there a disconnect? Are you feeling it in your pocket? Yesterday on Ghana Tonight, um, the team brought us some videos, interviews from some markets in Accra, from the Malama, Malamata market and then from the Nima market, where market women told us exactly how much they're spending on the goods that they bring in and how much they're selling it to us and what it means for you, a buyer, every day going to the market to buy tomatoes, onions, peppers, and so on. So we'll bring you some of those videos and then we'll also bring you um, an explanation from an economist who spoke to us yesterday on Ghana Tonight. So first, let's take a look at the video from the market and then we'll listen to the economist. A new twenty years, you have one and nine, twenty a day back. But you drink a half hundred. A first and a half and an answer, nay, three hundred. Says a half hundred, and then eight hundred. But you drink so. A promo, a boy, two million, one million. A half hundred, you know, first and a three. One, two million, then a first and a one million. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, last week, last week, man, Monday, we are at the end of 9.5. 9.5 and then I see 1,005. 1,005 is the amount of money. We are going to be able to get the amount of money. Because we are not going to be able to get the amount of money. We are going to be able to get the amount of money. We are going to be able to get the amount of money. We are going to be able Last month, yeah. Mm -hmm. to have three twenty-five. But some on to three twenty-five. And I'm in no case. It on some on four thirty. So you can imagine the difference I buy in in free So to the material. And to know I I was I say I was. Now about oil. Everything, and yeah, dear Bako, everything. Oil, last month, said they're making near to oil, now between your beer, baby, 440, 450. When I'm in Noka, say, Dominion, cheap price cry is 16. So, increment, you know, a year worse. As you know, I'm going to go to the booby, I'm going to buy you the summer, I'm going to get a ton. Like I said, Obakura will turn when you be. Now I saw a water on with three more things. And so I didn't any one in tea. And a boss I dear too soon. And a quantum for us to say, Lolly fan and dos and unty and a mamma mutum. And to me, I said, Okay, no boy didn't do anything. I don't name a conogram, I stop a cacra. And my judge says, Oh, Tom, I only I am. And unty, I'm my jack a cry back. First, and I could do me no boy. And she said, so to talk. And Taba from Kakra. And she said, I have a five city. If you all cry out to me, not three city, me, two city woman. And then, yeah. And I can first ten, me eat. They say, I did. Oh, no, back from what's matter five city, maybe the best from me and the patria best from. Like price differences now, mostly saying, you're free suppliers in chain. And the amount the banner mark to moi, we have no other choice that we also have to put a little margin on it. But it's like a child a week or two we are on bar and say a tuny memo. Yeah tuny memo. Who can even say a dollar no cost row, transportation cost row and duties and so almost taxes not also. 
So they can't do otherwise than say they have to put it on the item that they sell. Prices are rising, but slowly. So the rate at which prices are rising is slowing down, but now it doesn't mean prices are falling. I think so. That's one of one part of the misunderstanding. The other thing, the other thing that people should understand is that the twenty three point one is the year on year inflation. So it is the change from um, May last year to May this year. That's the twelve month change. So if even though in present times you might feel that prices are high, but if the prices were even higher last year, then when you compare the rate of change, you might see that decline. So I think people need to get a clear understanding of what the inflation is measuring. So that they know that when you say inflation is declining, it doesn't mean that uh, prices are declining. What people are complaining about right now is food, that food prices are rising. And that inflation rate that we did see, this showed that the food inflation has reduced. But you know, the food itself has so many items. We have uh, we have water, we have um, items, we have uh, cereal and cereal products. And when you say cereal and cereal products, that would be so many different items. So if you just compare the inflation rate with a particular item whose prices have gone up so dramatically for you, you might be feel, you might feel disconnected to the inflation rate that is being given. But we have to understand. The other thing we have to also understand is that if you live in Accra, you're a middle class person, and you probably buy mostly imported items. And we are in a period where the currency has depreciated. Therefore, those prices have increased dramatically. You have to understand that if you buy imported rice and somebody is buying made in Ghana rice, and you the one seeing imported rice, the price have doubled. The one buying made in Ghana, maybe the price has increased 10%. All of these have to be fighted, have to be factored in the computation of the inflation. So you cannot look at one item that you are buying, and because the price have gone up so dramatically, you feel that that should necessarily reflect the inflation number you are seeing. So I think these are some of the things that sometimes people get confused and they think that the inflation that is being read doesn't reflect their situation. All right, so that was an interview conducted by my colleague at the Malamata market, talking to some market women, and um, they're basically explaining how they're pricing their goods and the reason for the um, high cost of um, food products in the market. So after the um, announcement by the Ghana Statistical um, Services, announcing that inflation has dropped to 23.1%. Uh, Professor Assuming attempted to explain to us on Ghana tonight the reason for the apparent disconnect uh, between um, the drop in inflation and the cost of food prices on the market. That a drop in inflation does not mean that prices are going to go down. It means that prices would increase at a much slower pace. Well, our ladies are here and we're about to delve into these matters properly. Mm. You may be um, a part of our conversation this morning by reaching out on X with the hashtag TV3 New Day. I'll read all your messages. Remember to hashtag TV3 New Day so I can see your messages and read them first. Dr. Grace Ayinsu Dankwa, NDC Parliamentary Aspirant for Isikado Ketan is here. You're welcome to the show, Doc. Thank you. Now, how are, how you? are you doing? I'm wonderful. I love um, the green. Thank you. I mean, this is my NDC green. So, is this the NDC green? Yes, it's my version of the it's NDC It's your version green of today. it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I see. And you're matching it nicely with your earrings. Also. I try. Lovely. I, I knew I was coming to see you, so I had to look good. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Pressure. Are you sure you don't mean you knew you were coming to see Nanaya? I so my two sisters. You had to, my, you, you had to match up. <laughs> Nanaya is also here. Nanaya Achimpim Jantua. She is the former general secretary of the CPP and also the executive secretary of Coseca and also a political analyst and a dear, dear panelist on the show this morning. What's the matter, Nkao? 
the PRC company. Yeah, funny yeah, thing, yeah, also. <laughs> Ladies, you're welcome to the show. Thank you, Mike. So Thank yesterday you. we had what should be good news. Um, the mm -hmm. Ghana Statistical um, Services announced that there has been a drop in inflation. And actually, they also mentioned a drop in food inflation. Um, so food inflation declined by 4.2% points to 22.6 percent in May, while non-food inflation increased marginally by 0 0.1 percent points to 23.6 percent in May. And um, they went further to talk about locally uh, produced foods versus imported foods, and we'll, we'll get into that a little more. But that, compared to the actual cost of living, prices of food and services, um, wage increases, which has come to a standstill for a lot of people for at least the last couple of years. There seems to be a disconnect, doesn't it? Good morning, Good morning yeah. Nanaya. Uh, uh, the man who came, what is his name? Professor Isuming. He said inflation is what? It means that the rise in cost of food and services will be at a slower pace when inflation, inflation decreases. Inflation is the rate of, this one, I'm looking at the definition. Inflation. No, he says the fall in inflation means that the cost of food and services will rise at a slower pace. Will rise at a slower pace. A slower pace, pace yes. Okay. Inflation is the rate of increase in prices over a given period of time. Inflation is typically a broad measure, such as the overall, that is the key phrase, overall increases in prices or the increase in the cost of living in a country. And that's what we are facing now. And what is he saying? He's redefining it. He said over time. This is the definition of inflation. We don't have to, you see, this is clear. It's definitive. We don't have to go and look into it to explain it. And that is what we are experiencing. You see, I always say that the data does not support the reality. Let me say good morning to your viewers. And good morning to everybody, yourself, my sister here. And good morning to the people of Ghana and we should have hope. Things will change. Because you see, these are just cooked figures for uh, um, 20 cooked. Yes, mm -hmm. because it does not make sense. It's from the Ghana Statistical Service. Please, I beg, I beg you. We are not feeling the level of their inflation. Maybe they are living on a certain island. Did you listen to the women in the market? Yes. Do you know how high the prices of goods are? I will not even talk about services. Food. How is it that we are in Ghana and the local prices are higher than the foreign ones? The food inflation, local food inflation, is higher than the foreign uh, food inflation. When even we are using the dollar to do what? To buy these things to come into our country. These are cook figures for 2024 elections for the MPP. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. I mean, these people shouldn't joke with our lives. Though. Because what is happening now, everything, when I was coming, I was writing it. Everything is about high inflation, high cost of living standards, increase in food prices, increase in petrol. How much is petrol? 68 CDs a gallon. 64, 63, it's within the 60s, depending on where you buy it from. Gold, that is the government's um, fuel uh, company, is more expensive than the others. Do you get me? These are increasing cost of utilities. It's part of it. And rent. Today, if you want to rent a one-bedroom house, a one-bedroom, one-bedroom, it's 700 cities, chamber and hall. It's 1,000. Increase in rent. And you think they have just increased electricity and water. That is inflation. Reduction in the number of meals that we eat, we consume a day. Now it's 001. Me, I'm now 001. What's 001? No food in the morning. No food in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Around four, I eat. Are you on a diet? I'm not on a diet. Me, I'm old. What do I need diet for? I'm not a young girl like you. I look like that, but I'm not. So why do I need? <laughs> <laughs> what do I need diet for? Okay. I've gone to my diet days. So you're saying you you eat once because you can afford I to can't, eat only once? Yes. Yesterday we were discussing it, and most people 
do that these days. So you eat some wache. Some people do heavy wache in the night. Maybe find something small or, or not or gobe. I was coming to that. That's my favorite. Do you get me? Things you see. Fa uh -huh. I was writing, I was just looking to and writing. Farmers unable to transport produce from their farm gates to the markets. That is part of it. And all these things are present now. Reduction in purchasing power. Reduction in purchasing power. I want to buy this milk, I can't buy it because I'm, I'm lactose intolerant. I'm allergic to dairy products. This one is expensive for me. It is not true a you, but I can't buy because my purchasing power has reduced. What do you say to those who say that, well, inflation has dropped, but it will reflect over, over a period? Which period? Inflation, so it's not immediate. Now, Shogo, please, inflation dropped not today. This year, we've seen inflation drop about four times. Yes. So why is it that prices are increasing? The data does not support the reality. They shouldn't come and give us trouble. What kind of life is this? They think that we are playing in this country. After 2024, we vote against them. Everybody that you speak to says that they'll vote against MPP. Uber drivers, Totro drivers, Totro mates, everybody. Because this is not nice. You don't have to go cook figures for it to look like everything is okay. Because we are not feeling the effect of low inflation in our lives. We are not. So why then do you let us believe that we are okay? A reduction to afford basic necessities. Basic necessities, you cannot afford it. Today, toilet troll, which used to be 15 CDs, is 40 CDs. That one cry is the, is the dose in the lower bracket. Kontomre, well, I went to, uh, to the ridge. Kofoidu, I was coming. I thought that that place would be cheaper. Three bundles, 20 CDs. Kontomre. Interestingly, the woman from Malata, the, is it Malamata or Malamata? Mal Malata. Yes. Yes. Malamata. Malamata. Mal Malamata. 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 Yes. Yes. Malamata. Yes. 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 Well, we say Malata. Yes. Yes. Mal the, the woman from the Malamata market mm. said that it is Kontomre, which is considerably um, affordable of all the foodstuffs. What that does she sell. mean by it's considerably affordable? If you have a if you have so if you not if you not turn about five cities, with the two cities come a mania gobe. We don't control me You buy tomatoes, you buy tuna, you have additives to it to make it sweet, so it is not affordable. Five cities, one, one. Yes, if you share the table, you cut it, it becomes more. If you have a family of four, four boys in your home. Mother and father, house help, garden boy. That is a family of what? About six or seven. Can you use one condomate? You have to use about five. And that is going into about 30 CD before you go and buy tuna. Before you go and buy tomatoes, one is five CDs. Before you go and buy whatever, whatever to make the stew. But before you buy plantain, one is um, five CDs or six CDs. She said that five is 20 cities. And they sell it for four. This, see, they sell four for 20 cities. Mm. Can you imagine this? And you tell me that inflation is so why? Are we jokers? Are we just some uh, 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 teletubbies that they are turning But why the would world? the Ghana Statistical Services give us wrong? I figures? have told you that it is election year. And people will do anything to change the figures. They even want to change figures in, 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 the, in the register. Why wouldn't they change figures? This one is easy. Because there's, you, see, you see, you make us feel as if we, we've never been to school. Even if we never, you have never been to school like me. Do you get me? At least you know that when you go to the market, things are expensive. Hmm? Yeah. If you've never been to school like me, Mpo, hmm? but you can speak English, you know that when I go to the market, what, what I use 20 CDs to buy, now 20 CDs cannot get me the same thing. Do you understand me? So how can you come and tell me, even in my, in my lame mind, without any education as I sit here, hmm, you cannot convince me that inflation is this low. And it is the lowest within a, a, a matter of 26 months. That's what they are saying. The lowest in the matter of 26 months, but you see prices increasing. The professor who said that prices reduces over time, which is over time. Because inflation 
has been reducing for the past maybe four or five months. Why are we not seeing some significant reduction in prices? I have used the word significant. There's no reduction in price from his explanation. Rather, there's a slower pace of increase. I said slower pace of increase. Yes. Uh, then the definition here is wrong. What, what kind of life is that? Slower pace of increase. Yes. What is the meaning of that? So instead of seeing that prices are going but up my dear, there's, exponentially, there's no, okay. you see that it's, it's, it's slower. Me, I'm a woman. Three months ago, I didn't buy one tomato for five CDs. Mm -hmm. It was three for five CDs. Yeah. Now one is five. That is a slower pace. Given that three for five cities was an, a, a huge increase. That's what I'm saying. Previously, is that the slower pace of increase? What three was a five cities? Now mm -hmm. one is five. So it's slower pace of increase. You granted we take his definition. Hmm? Plantain. I used to buy one for three cities. Sometimes two cities, depending. If I go to Kwasi Edge, so I'm doing two cities. If I do it in my area, I'm doing three cities. Now, how much is one finger of plantain? How much is one plantain? Ah, 20 cities divided by four. The woman said it's one is what? One is five cities. So it, that is a slower pace of increase. Hmm. I want to find out. In a slow, one month. In one month, a slower pace of increase will be maybe 20 percent something. This is a slower pace of increase that he's talking about. I mean, goes who that he is a professor. I'm asking him, is it the slower pace of increase he's talking about? We are talking about reality. We are talking about the money in my purse, in my wallet, the momo that they are, going, they are taxing E-Levy on, that His Excellency Baumia is going to remove for us. That is it. It is there. When I use my momo, before I didn't do the momo, but now I don't have a choice because I have to send money to certain people. Mm -hmm. Do you get me? Somebody needs help okay. immediately. Do you understand? So yes, I am saying that they, they should not be giving us these figures. If they don't have any figures to give, they should sit there and let the thing run because we know ourselves the, the level of inflation. All right. Let, let, me, let me come to you, um, Doc. But before that, um, just to let you know, we were expecting um, Sandra Sakodiado, the deputy communication, the deputy national youth organizer for the NPP. She's Sarko supposed Diado. to be here. Yeah, Sandra Sakodiado. So she's on her way. She's not here yet. Um, to give us a good representation on the panel. We know it's rained this morning, and so some parts are um, a little flooded. So she's trying Why to get here. Flat? She's trying to get here. Because you're not doing the right. Uh, let, let's come to you, Doc. Are you on the same page as Anaya? I am 100% on the same page. Um, first of all, I believe that they shouldn't give us these cooked figures. I believe that you the think figures the figures are, are cooked. Number two, I also believe that Ghanaians are going to vote against them in 2024 because of some of these things they do. And if they don't have the right figures, they shouldn't give us anything at all. This was a party that rode on the backs that they were better managers of the economy, better than the NDC. They campaigned against uh, President Mahama. They, they brought misinformation, disinformation. They insulted him. They called him incompetent. And Baumia at this time was touring the country as the economic quote-unquote whisked, right? He was bragging, lecturing to us, telling us he was a better management of the economy. Today, he's telling us that at that time when Mahama, he was saying all those things about Mahama, while Mahama was building UGMC, Mahama was building Bank Hospital, Mahama was building Dodua Abitifi um, Seria Hospital in Kumasi, he was calling Mahama incompetent. The, the number, the... Um, it was like single digits inflation, right? Today, he's talking about double digit inflation. It was 3.8. Eastern rate was 3.8. Single digit inflation. And he was calling the guy incompetent. Now today, you have double digit inflation. Even Mahama's worst inflation was 15%. So this 23%, what is he talking about? Which is not even true. And it's not even true. And all it is, this is a man, Baumia, who was the head of the economic management team that has completely bankrupted the country. We have no money left, no statutory funds left. All of our um, heritage fund is gone. Um, our GET fund, everything that we had put down as a cushion for the economy is gone. He's not even paying his external debt. The people we owe, we have stopped paying them. And he's still telling us that an inflation rate of 23 point something is better and that we should applaud him. So this, I mean, I'm totally agreeing with my sister that um, they better not say anything. 
Today you go to the market, as you heard from the market women. Last week I took 100 CDs to the market. I was trying to see if I can, to Kojokro market. I'm trying to see if I can buy, I can have a, a soup. Of course I couldn't even buy oil, so I removed the stew and I said make a, maybe I'll make soup. I bought tomatoes four for 20 CDs. I bought cassava. I bought 10 pieces of pepper for 20 cities. By the you time I was finished. Well. Mm. But I, because maybe I was in the Western region. Yes. By the time I finished, I didn't even, this is not including transportation to the market and from the market. I couldn't even buy fish, even not the kako or the salted fish for my soup. So I couldn't even get plantain. So I only bought cassava. So my fufu was just cassava fufu. So I don't know what Baumia is talking about. Baumia is the one who told us that we should look at our pocket and do market economics. And no, no, no. We were sitting here when he told us that don't listen to Mahama's inflation numbers. But let's look at our pocket and let's do market economy. Today you should go to his market and see if the inflation in the market is the same as the Ghana Statistical Services quoting to us. So um, I'm agreeing again with my sister. Baumia mm -hmm. shouldn't come and tell us anything. This thing this is, is a Ghana quote, Statistical Service. That's Ghana, let, me, let me quote Baumia when Ghana Statistical Services under Mahama was giving him the right figures, right? He said, this is Baumia. Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia on his Twitter page in 2nd May 2012. If single digit inflation is meaningless for cost of living, interest rates, exchange rates and jobs, what is it for? To put it another way, if single digit inflation does not help with respect to the prices of the things you buy, the cost of uh, borrowing money for your business, the value of CD to the dollar, or help the youth to get jobs, then what is the point? This is Baumia when he was bragging to us that he was a quote-unquote economic whisket. So today, we are asking him the same question. That was single digital. So today, we are asking him his double digits. Are they the same? Do, do, do the rules that he put out, do they apply? When is he having his economic lectures to tell us what the state of our real economy is? You should go to the market and look at people's pockets. This one, they, if, this is a, a pocket deflation. The pockets are all deflated because there's no money in the pocket. This thing that they are doing, these fake numbers they are putting out, cooked numbers they are giving us, is a way for them to go to the IMF to get that tranche of money, the $360 million that is left, for them to come and come and do campaign with it. So they are cooking the numbers. You said they are going to use the IMF money to campaign. That's what they are going to do. That is what this is about. Otherwise, why are you giving us cooked figures and fake figures? When you and I know, my sister has told you, has gone through almost all market index. We are not doing economic indexes. So we are doing market index just like Baumia told us to do. Market economics. Market index, uh, market values. We are using that economics as Baumia. He told us, right? Before that, we knew that inflation meant something. Then he came to tell us that, no, 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 don't worry about inflation. They don't mean anything. They don't mean that your pocket is full. They don't mean that you can go to school. They don't mean you can get jobs. So let's go to the market and see what is happening in the market and use that so we are using his own metrics that he gave us. Tell me, he should go to Malata Market again and ask us if these fake numbers he's bringing are true. We don't mm -hmm. believe it. We don't agree. If, as a matter of fact, it's an insult to our intelligence. This is the man who was telling us that single-digit inflation was If we can't good. rely on the Ghana Statistical Service to let us know what the inflation rate is, who, who, who can we rely on? It is Baumia himself who told us not to rely on Ghana Statistical Services for their numbers. So how can, what is good for the goose is equally good for the Ganda. He came to tell us, uh, before that, we believed in Ghana statistics numbers, statistical service numbers. He was the one who came to tell us on his Twitter page that what numbers the Ghana statistical service were putting there when Jomahama was in power, when his numbers, so his inflation rate was single digits. Baumia came to tell us in a lecture, me, I listened, that inflation, we shouldn't believe it because Ghana statistics statistical service is lying. The real state of the economy is in the Malata market. He told us. So we are using his own metrics to judge him. He should come and tell us why these prices in the market have gone up. Why a hundred cities cannot get me some small light soup. Why I couldn't buy fish for my light soup. He should come and tell me how I couldn't even buy charcoal after I spent a hundred cities. 
What is the average income of a Ghanaian who works like a receptionist? How would that person eat? People are sleeping hungry. Come to the constituencies and see. The, uh, what's it? the World Economic Forum was talking something about a million Ghanaians. Over a million Ghanaians are going to be hungry and sleeping hungry. So he shouldn't come and tell us these fake numbers and insult our intelligence. They are not smarter than us. All right. I'm so by it. their own metrics, they have failed. And Ghanaians, we have listened, we are looking at the Malata market economics, and we are saying that he has failed, and we don't even want him, and he should stop giving us fake figures. We are not ready for this. All right, Doc. We uh, feel that it's an insult to our intelligence. Let me read a couple of messages coming in from you. Um, Musa Abatwai Nasawasi says, good morning now. The vice president, Dr. Baumia's assertion that he deserves a promotion to presidency is highly questionable, especially considering his apparent neglect of his primary responsibilities as the head of the economic management team. While he was busily campaigning, Ghana mm -hmm. faced significant economic mismanagement issues to the extent that the exchange rate and inflation threatened the, the cost of living of the masses. This neglect raises serious concerns about his ability to handle the responsibilities of the higher office effectively. And then Mani Ni Mani um, says, Good morning now. Nanaya Jantua said Trotro mates will vote against NPP. So Baumia himself will vote against himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Good funny. Morning, Mani. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, more messages coming in. Master Plana Jr. from Kintampo says, I guess the current population of Ghana, according to the Ghana Statistical Service, is also cooked then. It's very funny how Nanaya and the NDC communicator are suffering just to understand the decrease in inflation. It is possible with Dr. Mabu, Ma, <laughs> Mamudu Baumia. You are All not right. against it. We are saying that the reality does not support the data. The person doesn't go to market. We All are right. talking about market data. All right. Uh, Landlord Bolga D. Line says, good morning, now. The 7th December 2024 elections is indeed going to be the test of the sanity of Ghanaians. I don't really have a problem with the reality of price hikes. My challenge is how we are told that inflation has dropped. Has the meaning of inflation changed? Everything has gone up except the competency of the managers of the economy. Shambolic managers. So how come inflation is dropping per their statistics? We are facing the reality. So let's have the reality of the inflation and not massage figures. Let's vote for change. All right, I'll read one more message and then we'll go on to the next topic if we are both satisfied with how far we've come with the first topic. All right, and someone is asking for of Roland. Roland Walker is on leave um, for a few days. He's, he's in the Maldives relaxing by hey. fresh blue water. Hey. <laughs> All right. Um, our, 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 um, our MPP rep communicator has just arrived. She's walking in. So I'll read a few more of your messages um, while she sits down and gets comfortable before we go on to the next topic. Um, Lorato has sent us a message. Uh, Lorato says, <laughs> yeah, Lorato, she's not here with us today, but she says, today Nanaya and Dr. Grace are saying the figures from the statistical service are cooked figures. They gleefully referred and accept accepted the figures from the statistical service when it was 54 percent or we are in a difficult time but let's recognize effort inflation from 54 percent to 23 percent is not by flight it's due to the efforts being made by the government there is hope it is possible and that's from laura to musa now, saka now please please, please yes. let's not get this mixed up you get me all right if you have a lower inflation rate and even if you go by the definition of the professor, that increases are slower. Mm -hmm. But we are saying, Lara, to listen to me, we are saying that the reality does not support your data. Unless she's going to a different market altogether. Because you see, this inflation that is hanging, that is not supported by reality, is problematic. And that is where we are coming from. If I go to the market today and control me, it's even too But she's simple. asking you that when inflation was at 54%, mm -hmm. you accepted it from the Ghana Statistical Service. Uh, no, you because you see, when inflation You said was, that you, you, you accepted it. I am saying but that, now that it's dropping, you don't accept when it. When it was 54%, prices were even lower yes, than today, it that is 20 something. The market that economy. Is what, yes. Do you get, it, matched, it, it matched it. Even prices were lower yes. than today. That inflation is low. So it's a disconnect. It's a it's total a disconnect. disconnect. It is hanging. That's where the Nothing issue is. Nothing is supporting is. it. And I also want to say that, you see, in 2017, um, uh, Professor, your doctor's um, 100 CDs, 
was $34. You could do so much today, mm -hmm. 6.6. If you take 6.6 to America, the only place you can buy something, mm -hmm. ask it, is five below. Mm -hmm. You buy one thing. One dollar store. One, yes, or a dollar store. And even that one you cannot buy because afterwards your taxes mm -hmm. will go beyond 6.6 dollars. .6. And in any case, what happened to planting for food and jobs? Yes. They came to tell us they were doing a policy, planting for food and jobs. A Greek minister was talking plenty, and the food, they were going to get lower food prices. What happened to planting for How much money have we spent right. sunk into planting for food and jobs? So, um, Master Planner Junior from Kintampo says, mm. the decrease in inflation does not mean that prices of goods and services will also decrease. So why you it's as slow, simple as slow ABC. increase. Let's talk the they say slow confusion. increase. No, but it says slow increase. Yes. But uh, is the increases that we are seeing slow? And that's your point. Yes, that is my point. All right. And there should be this... some 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 form of some movement of a decrease, whether it is slow or what. But some movement. You cannot tell me that inflation is okay and the prices are higher. There should be some movement. All right. There's a disconnect. As this dollar from what says. <laughs> Who sent us to the 54% inflation? Mm -hmm. Who sent us to the 54% inflation that Lorato is talking about? I'm currently in one central market, and five tomatoes is selling us 20 mm -hmm. Ghana cities. Yes. We are suffering, and this is in Wa. In Wa? Mm -hmm. In Wa. Can you imagine? So, this is not even a crime. Mm -hmm. It's not even a crime. Right. So, um, Sandra Sakodiado, Deputy National Youth Organizer of the MPP, has just joined us. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Nara. You're welcome. It's great to have you. Yeah. I hope that you, you didn't have to go to any flood waters. Ah, a bit. A bit. Right. Well, we're glad you are here safely. So we've been talking about the drop in inflation, which we heard from the Ghana Statistical Service yesterday, which is supposed to be good news for all of us. But we've been comparing that drop to the actual cost of food and services and the absence of rising in wages, rising wages of the ordinary citizen. There appears to be a disconnect. Do you agree? Um, not exactly a disconnect. First of all, let me send special greetings to His Excellency President Ekufuado and incoming president, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, and all your viewers. Now, the thing is this, mostly when it comes to some of these prices, yes, currently we have a little drop of inflation. Now, most of these traders have already purchased some of these things before the drop. So when there is a drop, they need to sell at that same cost. They bought it plus their profits to make their money before we could see a change. So often when there is a drop or there is a rise, it usually does not happen immediately. It takes time. Because for example, if I already ship a 40 feeter container, and I spend, let me say, 300,000 Ghana cities on it. And I'm here to sell them. I am going to sell, including my profit, at the cost I bought it. So if after bringing in those things and there is a, a little decrease in the inflation, I am not going to add it or reduce it to those things. But I would rather sell at that cost to make sure that I'm able to get my capital. So yes, I think it's a good news that you know, we are moving somewhere, even though it is at a slower pace. But gradually, we will get there. But the challenge is that if the cost of goods and services, or food, food on the market, right. had remained at the same level, then the explanation you have just given us would make sense. Right. However, the cost of food stuff seems to be going... It, it really seems. The cost of food stuff is going up every day on the market. We played a video, you were not here, from right. the Malamata market, where the market women were explaining to us that just on Monday, um, products or food stuff that cost 10 cities, on Wednesday, yesterday, when um, the video was taken, had gone up to 13 cities. You understand? Yeah. So the cost of food is actually going up. How do we explain this? Yes, you see, partially, let me say to some extent, um, some traders also play a role in these things because most of our traders, even if they are buying the food at a cost of five cities, they will still increase it because there is a demand for whatever they are buying. Uh, sorry, whatever they are selling to the public. So the problem also has to do with the fact that there should be a system for government to monitor some of these food prices. 
Because at the end of the day, you find everybody selling at their own price. Believe in you, me. Let me say I go to a shop at Central Accra to buy fruit telly at a cost of 10 cities. It will surprise you that there is also another person in that same Central Accra, probably selling for 20 cities, probably selling for 15, probably selling for 8 cities. So to a larger extent, you realize that some of our traders also play a role in some of the spices. So this is a creation of the market women? Partially so, yeah. But even outside the market women, cost of fuel and, right. and other consumables which are not controlled by market women have right. also gone up. Yes, because you have this situation by virtue of the fact that now these things take time. It doesn't just happen overnight. The fact that there is a decrease now does not mean that tomorrow everything is going to subsidize. It takes time. It's a process. So we are entreating all Ghanaians to have patience and gradually things are going to get better. All right. So your recommendation is patience. Yes, things are going to get better. Let me read a couple of messages for you all right. um, from, our, from our viewers. Mami says, good morning now. This lady's explanation doesn't make sense. Inflation didn't stop dropping today. How much more time should we wait before things get better? It's been four months of dropping. She should please check. All right. Um, finally, you have a balanced panel. But I explained to you that she was running a little late. So that's why. We did have a balanced, a balanced panel um, from our production. Sandra was just a little late. Um, good morning, now. I'm glad the NPP lady has arrived. We have a lot of questions for her. One, can she explain to us exactly what a drop in inflation is? Because your explanation and Danaya's explanation are not the same, and we want to understand. Two, does she mean that when prices go down, the market women who have already bought their things should also reduce the prices? And even if they don't reduce it, is she saying they intentionally increase it? or they keep it at the same price. Her economics does not make sense. She should please answer the two questions. I am coming with some more. Can, can you answer any of them? Right, I will. Now, when there is a drop in infl um, inflation, it means that prices are gradually rising. Not at a fast pace? No, gradually, it's a gradual process. Looking when there's at a, a drop in inflation, it means prices are gradually rising. Come again. You said when there's a drop in inflation, it means that prices are gradually rising. Yes. Okay. It means that prices are gradually rising. Now, and with the example I gave of the market women, what I was trying to say is that at the cost a market woman buys her goods, at the moment of purchase, is what influences her price in terms of selling to the customers. So if today I buy, let me say, a box of tomatoes, for 2,000 Ghana cities, and I intend to sell and make a profit of 2,500 Ghana cities, what happens is that I am going to sell to make that money, even though it can happen that maybe in the next three days, other women who went to get tomatoes had it at a cost of 1,500, but I will still sell at that price to still get my money. That was why I made that statement, that to some extent, sometimes some of these market women also influence those prices. All right. Nanaya and Dr. Ayesu, before you came, said that these figures are cooked, that the drop in inflation is not true. It's not real. It, is, it has been cooked by the government to make us believe that things are better ahead of the elections. What do you say to that? I think those figures were not made by the new patriotic party, neither any of our external branches. I think it's high time we move beyond sometimes trying to bring down or rubbish academic documents. Because if a document comes out, how do you say it was cooked? Assuming it was in the other way around, would they have said the same thing? I think we should rather look at better ways of looking at some of these issues rather than politicizing everything. Because the truth of the matter is, Whatever that happens, we are all in Ghana alone. Sorry to say, if I'm going to buy something, I'm not asked for my MPP card to purchase it. 
at a lower it cost. It affects all of us. It affects all of us. So if there are issues, we should look at a better way of looking at it. Yes, this is what we have. What is the way forward? What are we doing about it? Rather than outrightly, you know, throwing everything away into the bin. I think it doesn't help. I want to read a news story from 2014 for you, from August 2014. Just a moment. Just a moment. Okay. Just a moment. Where um, Dr. Baumia, uh, mm -hmm. economist Dr. Baumia, questions mm -hmm. Ghana's official inflation mm -hmm. and exchange rate. So economist and politician Dr. Baumia yeah. has challenged the Ghana Statistical mm -hmm. Services and the Bank of Ghana to come clean on the credibility of the country's official inflation and exchange rates. This was in 2014. Mm -hmm. right. So Dr. Baumia has challenged the Ghana Statistical Services. That tells right. us that in the opinion of the NPP, we cannot trust the Ghana Statistical Services. So is it out of place that now that inflation, according to them, has been dropped, has dropped? We don't feel it in our pockets. Other people are challenging you too. You see, there are ways to do some of these things. Number one, Dr. Baumia challenged them to come clean on that, right? To give further details. Let's take it for example. If I take you to a law court and I challenge you, it does not mean you are either guilty or not guilty. I am challenging you to bring in further facts. Our people cannot say it was cooked by MPP. If maybe they have said that, look, bring in probably what you use to determine this. He actually said it's not credible. That no, but you stated that. No, but now you stated that. They said it was from the MPP. Yes. Can I quote? Uh, no, he I, said, we didn't at the say end, it was from the MPP. This is Baumi. I'm quoting no, but, him. At no, the end of the day. No, we said that. Right. We didn't say it's from the MPP. We said no, but that was what the she just said. does not support the reality. At the right. end, yes. Baumi said, at the end of the day, start quote, at the end of the day, the pocket is the economy. Yes. No right. amount of economic gymnastics or rhetoric can ever change that, end quote. This is Baumia right. himself when he was bragging that he was the economic messiah and the economic whisked. He was the one who told us that the Ghana Statistical Service, we shouldn't believe them. Because prior to Baumia and his lectures, we were believing Ghana Statistical Service. He was the one who told us when inflation was single digits that President Mahama is incompetent. So today we are here and we are telling him that the numbers don't add up. We are telling him that we are using his own market economics to judge him. We are using the own metrics that he told us to judge him. And according to all the indexes, all the market economics, he has failed. So there is no excuse to sit here and now say that President ba Baumia didn't say this and said that. You are quoting I never what said Baumia President said. Baumia he didn't told say us. That. No, but I never said that. Vice President Baumia was the one no. who gave us all these statistics we are all using today. Prior to that, we were listening to Ghana Statistical Service with the inflation rate and everything. There were single digits in 2014 when he said that we shouldn't believe Ghana no, Statistical no, yeah. Service. You see, so what has Nacho, changed? Okay, my sister here was saying something. All right. She said hmm. that um, the women who uh, sell in the markets, they are the cause of what I said happening. partially. Yes. And that right. he, he, she used both those who are selling foreign goods. In. But the foreign goods... When they gave us the data, the the index for the foreign goods are lower. So you get um, me. So Nashoko, please. I wanted to read the data for you. So please, we read it before. So okay. the point is that the local goods are cheaper. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm more. You should change my thoughts. Twenty-four point seven percent. I'm more expensive yeah. from the statistical service. Now she right. is saying that the market people they raise the prices. Look. When you are selling local goods, maybe she doesn't know how the market runs. No, but the, most of the mm -hmm. goods are perishable. Mm -hmm. So there's no need for me to overprice it. You always have to sell at the margin to get your profit mm -hmm. and your cost. Do you get me? Because I sell tomato, it's perishable. I sell plantain, it's perishable. Meanwhile, the ones that are perishable are more expensive. Because you don't sell it at a higher price. Mm -hmm. You sell it at the margins where you can get your profit so that you can also go and bring more. Because the more you keep it, the more, because you don't have storage facilities. You have not been able to preserve planting. Mm -hmm. They get rotten on the farm gates. They got rotten in the markets. So they don't sell it. They sell it just at the margin where they can get their profits. And she's also not considering their transportation costs, which is high fuel, the overheads. The handless, 
you have to pay kaya yo so they put all together and even that one because they are selling at the fringe because of the type of goods they are selling they sometimes don't even make profit you see now if you are selling it eh, sometimes you don't think about the profit you think about the perishability of the goods so you don't lose so it can never be their fault today the mpp is mm -hmm. is putting their incompetence mm -hmm. on Ghanaians. no mm -hmm. No. But you no. said it's a fault no, of the market. No, I never said Whether that. Whether it's partially no. or not. No, 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 no. no. You, you no, cannot now put, hold on. You cannot put Let it. Let it land and then I'll give Please. you the time to No, revert. no, but what she's saying was not what I said. That is the point it is, I want to It is unfair. No. Tell us what, what I'm she said. Saying, uh, what she is saying is not what I meant. Okay. I never said the market women are the cause. What I said they are partially, and I used the word Partially because sometimes some of our women sell extremely higher than they are supposed to sell. And I made an example of buying a specific product, Fruitelli, a central Accra, that is Makola. You will have one seller selling that same product <coughs> at 30 cities. You go to another shop, you have another seller selling at 20 cities. You go to another shop, have another seller selling at 15 cities. That was what I was trying to say. Please, well, and there that are was various the things reason. that affect no, my time. Right? No, I'm coming. Now, I'm coming. Now, this is that my is why time. I also said. No, but then you said something I didn't ah, say. But the point is that now, if you say that it's partially. No, but so, you all so, agree so, with so it me. it that you don't even you understand all, the market. No. Please. And, it's not about and, not you've clarified understanding what you said. the market. Now let her land and then I can no, let but you then revenge. Let her not say please, what I didn't please, say. Please, yes, so you, you've corrected her. her. You've corrected her. Uh, so now let her land uh, and then I'll come back to is what? Is it a Ghanaian product? Is it made in Ghana? It's food juice. I'm not sure if it's made in Ghana. That's the point. So if it is not made in Ghana and you are getting different prices, then it means that the dollar to CD ratio is affecting the importation of that product. That is what it means. So depending on the time that I bought mine, even though it is the same product, you will find different prices. That does not mean that I contribute to the inflation. It means that the incompetence of the government is mm -hmm. contributing to my cost. <laughs> but that is what it means. Do you get me? Because if I'm going to buy uh, something and we have different prices, immediately I have to find out where and when did the person buy the product. You have to even look at the expiry date. There are some of them, it is left with six months to expire. So they reduce their price. So there are so many dynamics that goes on in pricing. And until you understand what goes on with pricing, you cannot determine that somebody in that market who is trying to make ends meet in this difficult situation is partially uh, uh, responsible <laughs> for what we are going through. That is unfortunate. That should not be mm -hmm. said anywhere. Mm -hmm. No Ghanaian, no market Thank woman you. out there trying to find food for themselves should be, should be made responsible, whether partially or fully, for what is going and on. And especially coming from another woman. Because you see, Ghanaian no, women but are suffering Ghanaian women are having no, but don't right, quote me. no no let, I haven't finished look let me no, tell you but something don't quote me if, out of context. if you say that gradually we will get there when are we going to get there when after we have died of malnutrition when we cannot feed our kids after we have died of hunger what is it is the responsibility of this government to ensure that they do well by Ghanaians it is key they should understand that that is what they are not understanding because we voted for them to change things. They came with lots of promises mm -hmm. and we believed them. Economic and we, we voted for them. They should not come and make excuses. If they don't have anything to tell us, they should just keep quiet. All right. BT Sly says, just last week, a gallon of Pito in Wa was 12 cities. Last week, the same gallon was 17 cities. Pito. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. can't be a gradual rise. Mm -hmm. Like Baumia said in 2014, the Ghana Statistical Service, um, like... Baumia said in 2014, the Ghana Statistical Service is forging recent data on inflation to mm -hmm. make the government look good. Mm -hmm. The real inflation is at Malamata Market. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. And That's then Ivan Stinku from Garu mm -hmm. has sent me a picture of plantain. Then he says, now, good morning. I just arrived from Sunyani. I bought 17 fingers of plantain from Kintampo for 50 Ghana cities. Ken of Oriata used creative accounting and introduced the below the line mm -hmm. debt figure to scam Ghanaians today. The Ghana Statistical Service is following suit with creative statistics to come as to vote for them again. This time, Malamata Market is exposing Dr. Baumia big mm -hmm. time. I'm going to give the rest of the time we have to you, um, right. Sandra. Mm. We have just a few minutes to wrap up. How many minutes? She has four <laughs> minutes. 
All right. Why are you giving the Sandra. time to her? Mm -hmm. She came late. Yes, but we all had our say before she came. Matter. In all fairness, she has to be yes. able to also defend the things that no, have been said. No, but she came late. She should have come earlier no. than that. Sandra, <laughs> please go ahead. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. You see, um, what uh, my so big sister... Time. Yeah, Anaya, was please allow her to What speak. my big sister Nanaya was saying was what I said, but she was being a little bit mischievous about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In relation to the cost people buy their products and the cost they are selling it. I stated that possibly at a time of buying a certain product, for example, I bought at a cost of 10,000 Ghana cities. Even if there is a reduction, maybe three days later, I realized that people importing that same goods or buying from other places are buying it lesser than I bought mine. What is going to happen is that I will still sell at a price that I'll be able to get my money back without reducing it. That was what I said. And she repeated it, trying to be mischievous about it. But Sandra, now, outside of what the two of you have said right. about where you buy it from and so on, <laughs> right. the women we spoke to yesterday who are now buying their wares, ah, so right. not women who have had and have kept and have to increase prices or keep their prices based on the, the, the cost they bought it from, right. people who are now buying their wares right. are saying they cannot afford to buy them. Right. Do you understand? Yes, I do. That the, on the ground, I don't know if you go to the market, Sandra. I do. But we all shop from the same but place. But if you go to Madina market, right. about three weeks ago, tomatoes were selling for one, two cities, 50 pesos for one. Right. Three weeks later, it became three for 10 cities. This week, it is one for five cities. Is that a gradual increase? Do you understand? Right. That's the, that's, that's the reality on the ground. Yes. And this is not cooked up. This is right. not from the Ghana Statistical Service. This, is, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is not from people who are selling imported products. Mm -hmm. Right. So now, basically mm -hmm. what I'm saying is that we are gradually recovering from COVID-19 issues ah. and everything. Ah. Yes, now you may choose to disagree. Let's, let's no, you this. may choose to disagree. What's but then we are coming back on track. So and I'm going four to, to come in and fact, this. In Nanaya, fact, no, no, I think Nanaya, what you're saying is wrong. COVID-19. No, but, no, Nanaya, but, please no, but I didn't stop you from saying what you wanted to say. COVID-19. Please, to can you allow me? Sandra, can you allow me? Sandra, go on. COVID-19. Yes, our economy is gradually like, like coming been, back on track. And I am pleading with all Ghanaians to have patience. Things are going to get better with us. That's all I have to tell. Six Ghana months is. more. Um, Sandra, mm. don't you think we have so we have overplayed man. the COVID nineteen Russia Ukraine mm. matters? Ah. No, we haven't. Because if we are buying tomatoes because... today at five cities, and you're saying it's because of COVID nineteen, it's one of the most now, even one of the issues. Issues. In the no, where no, war. listen, all across nations and countries, they are all going through difficulties. <laughs> they are all going through difficulties. Yes, you can set up your people, you know, have views of people who live outside Ghana and ask them. No, because no, because in COVID-19 affected us. All right. I'm going to read, I'm going to read some messages from Sam Kelly. Good morning now. One of the reasons why food prices are skyrocketing is that the government has placed high taxes on the production inputs, such as fertilizer, seeds, pesticides, and agrochemicals. In present circumstances, what a caring government would have done would be to reduce or abolish some of those taxes to bring relief to the farmers. Yet what are we seeing? Ghana certainly deserves better leadership um, moving forward. All right, more messages coming in. Aziz Donla from WA says, a bag of maize that was selling at 150 Ghana cities in 2016 is now 750 Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. A bowl of maize which was 70 cities, mm -hmm. um, a bag of rice which was... 80 cities is now selling us 470 cities. Mm -hmm. This situation is really not funny. Mm -hmm. It's very scary. It's not funny we need, it's not funny. We need Baumier's economic skills so now more than ever. The government has failed us woefully, and this and is just like wicked. That, it's really <laughs> um, I see all your messages, there's so many. Unfortunately, I can't read all of them, but I've read some. Thank you so much for tuning in today. This has been big issues. Remember, you can still win 1,000 Ghana cities. Four of you can win 1,000 Ghana cities. All you have to do is dial star 439 hash and cash out with us on the show. We'll be back with conversations about men's mental health and love on the show today. Stay tuned. <laughs>